Hello everyone, this is the Gadget Man with Discovering in Color and welcome to today's video. Today we're going to talk about the Durston XMID two-person tent. Pretty nice tent, just picked it up, set it up for the first time today. I thought I'd give you a review of my initial thoughts on this particular tent right here. So first off, like it says, it's a two-person tent and I'm going to go over the pros and then I'm going to go over a couple things that I've seen that I, I'm not necessarily that too happy about but I think could definitely use some improvement. So the pros in this tent. First off, it's a Dyneema tent. It's a person tent or it's just a Dyneema or a Cuban fiber, some people know what it is at. But this particular version of the two-person tent is 100% Dyneema on the top and on the floor. It's a single wall tent, so that means with all single wall tents, you have to worry about condensation. And we'll address that in a minute, a couple of my concerns on that. It has two doors. This is door on one side. It has a, a door on the other side that is exactly the same. So that's a pretty good plus. So if you have two people in here and they gotta get up in the middle of the night and use the bathroom, then guess what? They're not climbing over somebody. A definite plus, just like a couple of the other tents that are out there. Another plus I like about this, which I saw right from the get-go, is this vestibule space here. The way this tent is cut with its kind of, I guess they call it a hexagonal cut or something like that, the vestibule space here on each side has pretty good room for things like boots or a pack or anything like that, and it's always going to be closed. A lot of the other tents that are uh, basically A-shaped tents that have it, when you open it up, one side, both sides will open, but uh, one side is, isn't quite as good. This one's this, the way it's cut. It comes out some, so you've got room inside of here to keep a pack or shoes or anything else you want to keep. And it looks to me like it's going to stay pretty dry because this door, as you can see, goes pretty much almost not to the bottom, but goes pretty low. And that's a good thing. So that's another good plus. Another plus that I like about this tent is the way the stakes are laid out on here. It requires eight stakes and it's got four corners but not all of the four corners, which is kind of weird, uh, has a way that you can adjust the length of the stakes. It's it, it basically, it's really super adjustable, this tent right here, because some of the sides right here, they have, uh, what do you call those things? Those things that you can pull out and tighten them with. And then some of them are just actually just loops that you put the tent into. Pretty nice. The front here, this is, I like about this is the fact that this door opens up very, very wide, as you can see. And we'll talk about one of the cons of that. Another pro I like here are these magnetic clasps right here. So they basically come off and they snap right on. It's got two of them, which is really good. I like that. Another pro is on the inside of the tent. As you can see, this tent has kind of got that little surface, circus type top here. And you can sit up in this tent on either side and you've got plenty of headroom. I'm six foot tall and I can sit up in this tent right here. Even you can see I'm sitting like this. My head is not quite to the top of this thing. So that's another very good plus as you can have. Now me myself, I'm gonna use this as a one person tent because I like to have the extra space and I like to put my pack and all those type of things on the inside of this. And this tent has ample room on the inside to do it. Also with these big doors, another pro is the fact that the wind flows right through this thing really nice. You got one side right here that is kind of basically fixed and the other side is a huge opening. So pretty much two thirds of the sides right here, you can open up and wind can flow through here. So that's a very good thing. I like that. All right, let's go over a couple of things that I don't necessarily like about this tent. And I would say these are not things that'll keep you from buying it, but these are things from my experience with a tent that I think they could have done this a little bit differently to basically help improve the experience. The big one I see here is, they have vents on the top here for ventilation. Well, these ventilation vents, there's nothing to hold them open. There's a piece of Velcro to keep them closed, but there's actually nothing. As you see this Velcro, I can pop this thing open and they'll basically, they'll, they'll end up falling shut again. And if they do fall shut, that Velcro connects and guess what? You've got no ventilation. So that means that you need to leave one of these doors open in order for this thing to ventilate so you're not dripping wet with sweat in the morning. And that leads to the con number two. The way these doors are cut is that if you leave one of these open and you get any kind of rain or that type of stuff, it's coming inside this tent. There, there's just no way around that. Now my other tent I have is my z -Pax tent, and I hate to make a comparison with that because they're just two different, totally two different animals, but the z -Pax tent I have, you can actually leave a door open and it can rain and you will not get rain on the inside. 
I've done it before, and so long as it's not a windy rain, no rain will come inside the tent. With this one here, the way it's cut with this huge door right here, rain will come inside of this if you leave one side open. So what you could do on an alternative is you could pop this like so, and you could actually pull this down and sleep with it with one door down. And you do have an opening right here for condensation to get out. Now, there is no real way to secure this to the bottom. So it will flap at night if you get any kind of wind. But it is a way to leave one door open and allow some condensation to flow in here. Okay. The last kind of big con that I have for this right here is the way that these doors are zippered. There are actually two zippers on this. One that goes up and one that comes to the side. So what you do is, instead of some of the other ones that have a continuous zipper that runs all the way around, this zipper is actually in two pieces. So one goes down, one goes across the bottom. So I'm not sure why they did that. It, it, you know, it, to me, it kind of wasn't a necessary type thing because now you've got really kind of two zippers that can break as opposed to just having one. But that's just the way it is. But those right there are pretty much my only three cons that I have in this tent. I'm looking forward to taking this thing out, giving it a shot out in the woods there to kind of see how it is. Um, oh, one thing I didn't cover was weight. When it comes to weight, this is very comparable, if not equal, to some of the other uh, tents out there that are made of Dyneema fabric. And that's, you know, your Z-Pax tents or, or some of the other tents. This weight is exactly the same. So when it comes to that type of stuff, I wouldn't necessarily compare it. Um, it's got trekking pole tent, so you use your trekking poles to set it up. But other than that, I mean, it looks like a very, very good tent, and I can't wait to get it out and learn a little bit more about it. So that's it, the Gadget Man with Discovering in Color. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you out on the trail. Take care.